How's it going today guys? In this video I'm going to be going over the ModLite PLHV2 18650 dual fuel weapon mounted flashlight. If you guys want to see more content like this, please like, subscribe, and share to help support the channel. I would appreciate that. Now this is personally my favorite and I think it is also the best weapon mounted flashlight for short to mid-range use. Um, whether that be for shotguns, short length carbines, or PDWs of that sort. Anywhere out from 0 to 200 or maybe even 300 yards, this will perform very well. This costs $309 for this entire kit. We get the flashlight, the tail cap, your charger cord, uh, warranty information, three gaskets, battery, and charger. Now this is the tan version. Um, it is dual fuel, which is important. I personally will not run any flashlight that is not dual fuel. Um, it needs to be able to run off a rechargeable like here, or uh, in worst case scenario, I can throw in CR123s, which this is available. So that is the, one of the things that I check. Uh, also, I won't run any light, first and foremost, if it is not durable and reliable. So I've had no problems running these mod lights. Um, I personally have three of them and they all work great. I would say that they are really close or as durable and reliable as Surefire products. It might be a little bit less uh, just because Surefire has a longer track record and they're more used in the military and stuff like that. But I would say that they are very close if, and maybe not even noticeable. The stats for this it has uh, 1,350 lumens and 54,000 candelas. Now why I don't like something super high in candelas like um, in the new Surefire that's gotten put out or something close to 100,000, um, I like it kind of in the middle of the range for shorter, uh, shorter range weapons because when you're trying to use it indoors or in CQB or close quarters areas, if you have a really high candela flashlight and then you shine it at something, it's almost blinding if there's too many candelas. So at 54,000 candelas, it's almost right in the sweet spot. You could maybe go a little bit more, maybe close to 60 without, you know, shining the light off a wall and possibly getting blinded. So I think 54,000 candelas is perfect. Um, and still being able to beam out to one, 200, maybe even 300 yards and still being able to see a decent hot spot. Um, but it's not too much that if you go indoors with it and stuff like that, that you're gonna necessarily blind yourself or just be too too bright and kind of uh, distracting. Now, the other thing is the lumens on there. So with 1,350 lumens, it gives me a very bright light and it also uh, gives me a wide spread. So I think that's also uh, very important. Having that widespread obviously helps cover more range of area. The brighter light just helps with identification. Mainly I run uh, these mod lights or I do run some Surefire stuff. I have tried uh, Cloud Defensive and I do not like their stuff. I did make a video on that. If you are looking to uh, see about some Cloud Defensive, go check that out. But I don't like to run Cloud Defensive. Streamlight is pretty decent, um, but I think their specs... Uh, their specs and durability are a little bit iffy. I don't think they're good enough to run. Another thing I really like about uh, this light is this, uh, this push button or this clicky cap, tail cap. Um, this shrouded protecting guard is very nice and it, when you're going to activate this, obviously, even if I press my hardest, it's not going to activate. So you really have to get your finger in there so you're not gonna get any accidental discharges because of this nice shroud. It's very nice, it just, just screws off just like that. And then that's obviously where you would mount whatever mount you, you like. I prefer Arasaka, they do great stuff, but this shroud around here gives a very nice protection. This is momentary and constant on, so you have two different options you can use, just a slight click or the click there. And then you can see it says dual fuel here. You would just unscrew this and then pop it down in. That's where that bigger rubber washer comes in and then the smaller uh, rubber uh, gasket, I mean, goes right there. So for the package and then the reliability, this is actually not too expensive compared to other lights. So it, it's, it, it is a very good deal and I don't think you can go wrong with this at all. I am going to be putting this on my Benelli M4. I already put another one on my Breda 1301 and then I also use these 
uh, these handheld flashlights for EDC and duty use, all that type of stuff, very good. Um, no problems at all. So if you're looking for a light, definitely check this out. This is what I would recommend. If you guys have any questions or want to see any specific videos, feel free to comment down below. And if you could leave a like, subscribe, and share, I would appreciate that, and it would help the channel. Thank you for watching.